Today I want to talk about my family upbringing. I was very fortunate. It's an unusual word, fortunate, to someone who doesn't have financial help and provision from their parents during their youth. Are they unfortunate? Are they somehow damned uh, before they even start? And then lucky. Lucky doesn't really do it either. I was very lucky. So somewhere between fortunate and lucky, I was grateful for a great childhood, happy childhood. My parents did their best. They had a full house. And I'm, I will always be grateful for the opportunities, educational, travel, that that my family, my mother and my father gave to me. But unfortunately, <laughs> there was an overachieving standard that was never, never met, except for the fortunate few. And those happened to be four of my siblings who all went into the medical field board, certified medical doctors. So where does that leave me, the artist, the one who writes poetry at three in the morning as a student friend observed. Where does that leave me without money and with crippling arthritis and panic? Where does that leave me as an adult, both parents dead, all children adopting this overachieving, overarching all-encompassing experience of life. You have a house, nice house, maybe two. You have a car, perhaps from Sweden. You have nice clothes. Uh, my brother has clothes in his closet that uh, large price tags that have never been worn. It's kind of fun to go in there and steal things now and then, borrow things now and then. But the unfortunate thing between the misunderstanding of the left brain, which I consider all my family scientists, my youngest sister is a brilliant programmer, and the right brain, myself, an artist, a poet, a songwriter, unpublished, except for YouTube's a uh, thousand poems and reading of poems, it, it leaves a great gap. It leaves me as being crazy, lazy, stupid, fake. That's that's what I like to say. Uh, and of course, everyone denies that, but the reality is simply that, that they, in their core beliefs and in their spoken words, think that I'm basically crazy, lazy, stupid faker. There's nothing physically wrong with me. <laughs> it's all psychosomatic. And all I need to do is get off my ass and get up in the morning. And unfortunately, this leads a great gap of misunderstanding. And we, we just kind of cordially avoid each other. Uh, my oldest brother's really, really understood for somehow through his faith, really. Isn't that a radical transformation of uh, what it's like to be on full disability? in a family that is filled with overachievers. And I, I don't pity myself, but I, I think you get strong enough to the point where you simply ignore. You simply have to divorce yourself from the thought that you're lazy, crazy, stupid faker because you're not. I'm not. Many people who suffer silently from Crohn's who suffer silently from bipolar disorder or who suffer silently from lupus or any of the uh, muscular skeleton problems, fibromyalgia, suffer silently. You can't see this. It's an unseen handicap. And, and because it's unseen, you're not affirmed for anything. The things you do do because you're an artist and you have your right brain going are, are worthless in the marketplace. They're not making money. The things you don't do uh, condemn you because you're not making money. It's part of the whole syndrome of the whole lazy, crazy, stupid, faking, overachieving uh, person that people say that you are. And I, I don't think I will have any converts in my family. 
because none of them do suffer silently. Uh, and therefore, I think it, it, it will only be in the afterlife when we all stand before God that um, the truth is truly seen. And I, I look forward to that. You know, I've lived long enough. Uh, I'm not going to do anything to hasten my departure, but it's simply uh, a reality. Okay, there's just a few thoughts.